Still here at the Rebel 5G eSports event at the Birmingham Library, and I'm with Creative Director for Project Cars, Andy Tudor. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, freezing, but we're on the roof here in uh, frozen Birmingham. Every time I come here, it always seems to be really, really cold, but yeah, otherwise, all good. Good. Well, uh, Rebel 5G, the event that's being uh, taken place today, North versus South, what are your thoughts on it? seen it gradually like the qualifiers have started and then the the regional finals started uh, there was some surprise like wild card entries things like that um, obviously you guys have done very well uh, in this but uh, yeah it's nice to see you know Red Bull have been behind esports in various things you know whether it's Hearthstone or League of Legends or whatever um, and it's nice to see racing has finally got there and it's nice to always uh, oust Gran Turismo from this stuff so yeah good all good and we've got 2017 coming up, of course, a brand new season for Project Cars with eSports. Yep. What's the plan for that? What do we know? Yeah, so we've just uh, finished uh, Season 2. Uh, yeah, we've, se we've seen like big changes uh, in Season 2. We, uh, we got two big sponsors on board. We uh, uh, had two big series. We uh, made everyone pre-register, so we kind of had a big bottle of uh, people who were going to play. Uh, we introduced the mid-season transfer window, so there was a bit of drama there for of, uh, people take it stealing drivers from other teams and things that was really interesting to watch as well um, season two is finished uh, obviously there's controversy left right and center from all the different drivers and teams who are unhappy with things and and allegations of certain things happening and that's indicative of the level of competition that, that goes on between these guys especially because we raised the prize pool as well um, but for season three yeah again once again we're going to make massive changes again um, and yeah we're already thinking of season four beyond that as well so you know we'll have more st info on that stuff uh, soon um, maybe this year maybe next year probably um, but yeah like we just uh, we've we've we're very embedded in this uh, and as we go forward with project cars 2 um, esports is built in from day one Absolutely, and with regards to Project Cars 2 as well, what can you tell us? We are aware of like what people want to play in Project Cars 2, how they want to play it. We are here with Red Bull, we're here with Janetta, we're here with Logitech, various different companies, and they are all wanting to do stuff in the esports world as well, and they've got their ideas. We're working with uh, platforms like ESL, uh, so yeah, esports is very much going to be embedded from in Project Cars 2 from day one, and that means all the features that are required, the broadcasting aspect of it, the organization aspect of it, uh, the opportunities for teams and things like that to play as a team as opposed to individuals. Believe me, like we are going uh, knee deep into all this stuff uh, and we've got yeah a good two years behind us of, of how this stuff has worked in the past to, uh, to kind of build upon from that experience. Well, that sounds really exciting. Andy, thank you ever so much for taking the time to chat to okay. us. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go inside now? Absolutely. It's warm up. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Andy Tudor uh, from Project Cars.